Yeah, you got it. Dead. I know he did. I know he did. On the night, on mm. the morning when I get up, I know he did. We do suspect foul play, but um, I don't think we have sufficient evidence to say that, yes, the, the, the person um, was murdered. It's, it's an investigation that is ongoing, but it cannot be conclusive in our view that, um, yes, the person was murdered. Well, investigation, it, it, better you start, it, it is better you start from wide and then you narrow down. It's best you think that there was a murder committed and then when you find out it could be different. So it, it's, we always try to investigate from the larger scale and then narrow down. So it's a, it's a murder investigation? Yes, that is correct. The family and friends of 24-year-old Marky Mendes and Lesso Belmopan police are in a sad agreement. Their son, brother, and friend is gone, deliberately taken away. After five days of fruitless searches, they are convinced they are now looking for a body rather than a living person. But that did not stop them, including Elton Vasquez, who says that search has been extensive. And we searched, we searched, and I, I had a search from Wednesday, because the last time Wednesday, the, the man late me the evening, I found the man left, and the man said, when he saw the puzzle, and that's when he gone. Never see the man again, right? And we look, we look miles and miles in a bush. We search everywhere where we could think. But we travel when we meet Lille, we travel everywhere, right? And everybody knows, everybody knows everywhere, same way, like, just like how we know everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we still can't find the man. But the man said, what put away? I never find her. That means the man not put her wrong here. Vasquez is obliquely referring to the resident they suspect of committing the murder, who police have not caught up to yet. For Mendez's mother, Verna, the episode is entirely unlike her youngest son. When he left 2 o'clock Wednesday, he told me he going to go fix his slippers. And I know he's not a person where he never ever sleep out, no care what he finds in his house. And so that night there when he no come, we get so worried. And like for around 8, the next day I start to call up everybody where I think he got around. And nobody never know where party there. Nobody, the last person they see with that with um, only Santos, where the villagers know. Um, and, and I think he had sometimes and a, um, a brother, Ernie, I think. And then, um, then I last person they stay with. And um, the whole day Wednesday, no come, Thursday, we, then we start to come to the grave. Mm -hmm. But before that, um, I don't remember who called, and I think that the, um, the police called and said that then that we, we found by the grave. And then we say, well, we come out here and we say, um, and not, nothing that never chewed down, just me a false alarm. Mm -hmm. And then when we come, uh, nothing like that, we tell the police. He, they ask me if I call, I tell them, no, I no call. And so then we come, so we figure more or less, maybe they're right there. And then when we go down there, we find like blood to the river, and you find our blood, um, black with blood. Then we find our pants on our shirt, and then they find the slippers. And the villagers, always, you know, they know they're in clothes. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. The villagers, including Marcus' father, Pablo, searched fruitlessly along the riverbank, assisted by police and coast guard, who joined in on Sunday after finding less than optimal conditions in the flooded Belize River on Saturday. Senior Superintendent Gillette says that search continues, as does their investigation. Several persons were brought in, and um, I believe we have statements in our position to, to help guide the investigation, but I don't want to delve further than that because it could well prejudice the case which um, will go to a trial in the future. So I don't want to comment further as to what all we have. What happened ever since the report was made, we've been doing searches on the, the land. And yes, we've been on the river also, but not diving because of the conditions of the water at this time. But since Sunday, the, the, the water is it, better to dive. and. I believe yesterday and today we have the Belize Coast Guard with us to help to try to locate if, it's, if indeed the person is dead and the body is in the Belize River. But that is little consolation for Marquez's friends like Elton Vasquez. One thing over and over and also maybe in a river, it may be sinker. Why feel like you bury him? Okay. Um, what would you say to your friend? Uh, Mark, if 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 if, uh, if, uh, 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 if you're hoping against hope that he's still alive, uh, if he is, what would you say to him? I don't think he's alive, and I never think that he's alive. I know he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he may come more. 
Okay. No, I know you did, man. I know you did. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.